All right, hands up. Nice deep breath. Yeah, get our day started. Yeah, it's funny, it kind of takes it takes the pressure off me. You know, even though there's not supposed to be any pressure to hold these sessions, you know, I felt bad if I didn't have any sessions, but to know that the videos are online now. Yeah. Why didn't I do it sooner? <laughs> and down. Okay, rest your hands on your lap. Extend your legs in front of you. Sit, sit a little bit in front so you're not leaning on the back of the chair. Relax and lightly expand your spine. Cool your head back a little bit. Drop your chin down. Relax your breathing, drop your breathing down to your lower belly, to your tantin. Relax your hips so your legs fall to the floor. Check that you're taking a nice relaxed breath of air in and out. You slowly open your eyes. You drop your shoulder blades and come up. Take a nice deep breath. And down. Just let your fingertips drop and point to the top of your head. Imagine that nice violet energy, gathering it up, gently flowing it through your body. Relax all the muscles, all the joints, breathing in and out. Imagine pouring it into the earth. The earth tree rises around you. Breathing in from the earth, rising, drawing, pulling up through the body, through the spine, through the back, the neck, over the head down the front of the body, breathing in, no tension in the arms, in the shoulders, just thinking about the move. Sinking the chi down to your tantin coming up from the side, looking over your fingertips, eyes projecting out to the horizon, breathing in and out. Drop your shoulder blades, fold your joints, and out.
scooping down. Imagine filling up all your muscle tissues, your whole body with chi. Deep breath. Squeeze and exhale. Twist your palms out. Twist your fists outwards. Surge and let go. Fill up the bones. Deep breath. Compress and squeeze it through your body. Fill up ligaments and tendons. Let everything go. Bring everything back to the center. Relax all the joints, all the tissues. Just rest your arms right on the side of the body. Lightly close your eyes. Study Wuji just for a little while. Align your body. Drop your chin down. Make sure your arms are just hanging at the side. Slow, even breaths of air. Just your lower belly moving in and out. Slowly, slowly open your eyes. So we'll do the seated today, um, eight brocades of silk. Uh, let's to the center, which way am I? Okay, uh, just for your reference, you know, like I always say, it doesn't really matter when we do these left or right, because um, we do two sides, but this is my right, <laughs> this is my left. <laughs> Uh, in general, in these exercises, um, they teach them start with the left side, then move to the right side, and um, in general, three, three left, three right, or six all together. What I always emphasize, do as many as you feel comfortable, um, and as you have time, make sure you relax, practice your alignment. Okay, so number one, right, holding from here, do one demo first, coming up, breathing in, just about the mouth and down and draw the chi up through your palms and we're going to press and look up 45 degrees is fine and down and back to the side okay so this is the first one okay breathing in and out yes all right so let's begin breathing in And out, and in, and out. Looking straight ahead, let everything go, and then beginning again. Breathing in, keep the shoulder blades down, and out, spine straight and relaxed. Feel like you're pulling the chi up, drawing and pressing it up to heaven, and guiding it back down through your body, back into the earth. Be sure that the tip of your tongue is on the roof of your mouth, behind, behind the upper teeth. Breathing in and out and in and out. And don't hold your breath, don't lock your breath. If you need to take an extra breath, just go ahead and breathe naturally.
And we'll do one more. And as you finish, just relax. Just feel the weight dripping down to your fingertips and let everything go. Okay, number two. Okay, so I'll, let me just show you the demo first. So number two will be both hands come up. The left hand folds up just about the heart, the right hand. The right hand is about the belly button. And you separate and press up and down. The eyes following the top hand, elbows are bent. You turn, come down, roll your head. And as you come up, you repeat and you do the right hand. Right hand's going to fold. It's about level, looking up. Don't overstretch. You want to keep your elbow joints a little bent. Okay. And then I'll go over the breathing pattern as we start. Okay. okay, palms facing forward and we'll begin breathing in and out. Just taking your time and in and out. And in and out, and in, and out. Remember to finish your move before you start your next breath. And in, and out, and in, and out. And in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out, palms facing down, and in, and out. In, in, and out. We'll do one more time. Rest your arms, look straight up, relax. Again, feel the blood flowing down to your fingertips and let everything go. Okay. All right, so number three is very similar. Um, so let me show you first. So you're going to start the same way, lifting, turn the palms down, drop your arms and turn to the side while exhaling. And before you finish, you come back to center. And you repeat on the right side, breathing in and out. So let me show you from the side. It's uh, important you don't overextend your hand. Right? It just lifts up and out. And back to the center and in and out. And back to the center. Okay. So we'll do the um, same thing three or four times. Make sure your legs are extended, back is straight, head is lifted up, right? same posture, all the joints relax. Okay? So turn the palms forward, let's take one breath to begin, breathing in and out. And begin, breathing in 
and out and turn, exhaling, and back to the center. And in, look to the right, exhaling, and back to the center. Finish the breath, in and out. Each time turning a little bit more, and in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And let's do one more. In and out. And relax. Okay, so number four, we want to open, I'll show you from the front, and I'll show you from the side. Uh, number four is open up our rib cage, open up our chest, the hands come out, and you arch back. As you arch back, you're going to naturally look up, and then bring the arms up, and that will bring your body back forward, palms over palms, over your tantin, and then it starts again. The breathing will be breathing in. and out. Listen, let me just show you from the side. Um, so, legs extended. So, it has a nice breathing in. Just tilting your body back. Do what's comfortable for you. Uh, you might want to start off with a smaller range of motion. And if it's comfortable, then you can increase, but you don't have to lean back too far. Okay, so this is number four. Okay, hands at the side, relax, sitting straight, reset your body. Take one breath to begin. And begin breathing in. Bring the arms straight up and out. Center of the palms over each other, gathering the chi and soaking it into your tantin. Breathing in and out. Finish your breath. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in. And out. And one more time. In. And out. So again, remember you can do these as many times as you feel you need to. Okay. All right. So number five is the bow and arrow. Yeah, go ahead and finish your moves. Yeah. Number five is the bow and arrow. So the bow and arrow, it comes up, and we're going to start with the left hand inside. It's going to cross. And oh, we have a bow and arrow. I can demo demonstrate with that. Okay. So my left hand imagines I'm pulling the string. It's going to come straight to the side. The right hand, uh, fold, the, fold the three fingers, the last three fingers, make that nice L with the thumb and forefinger, and you want your vision looking right through that. So as you pull, you keep your shoulders down, elbows down, turn your head as you draw the bow and press out. Okay? You notice how my elbows are bent. Okay? Don't lift like this. Just press right there, straight to the side, and then it comes back to the center, and it releases. And then we just do the other side. So then the right hand would come in, breathing in, and it would exhale. You lift the sternum a little, and then breathing in and out. So, hey, yeah, where's my bow and arrow? Right there. <laughs> Okay. 
my um, granddaughter calls it a rainbow, yeah? But that's the idea. So she was making a rainbow. So it was like pooling and then coming back. So imagine you're drawing the string, right? You're just grabbing that string and straight to the side. And your orientation, as you draw, draw the bowl, you want your hands here. You don't want to hyperextend back. You don't want to come forward in that nice straight plane. Um, it will just draw right there and stop. Okay, come back, draw right there and stop. Look, st look right through there, staring for the mountain top or staring for the horizon. Okay? All right. Okay, so take one breath to begin. Okay, and begin. Left hand inside, breathing in, shoulders down, and out, looking to the right, and in, and relax. Okay. Just feel the blood flowing back down. And then right hand inside, breathing in, and out, and in, and out, and in, left hand in, and out, and in, and out, and in, right hand in, and out, And in, and out, and I'm going to add the kidneys in, and in, and out, and just tilt up a little to open up the kidneys. So this is an optional move. You can do it or you can leave it out, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, breathing in, and out. And let's do that two more times with the kidneys, two more times each side. Breathing in. Okay, and one more set each side. And last time. And slowly let everything come back to center. Make sure you're nice and relaxed. Let everything go. Check your alignment. Okay, so as we uh, work down to to our waist, you want to open up your stance a little bit more. We're going to roll, and same thing. I'll show you from the front, and I'll show you from the side. Uh, important to keep your hands on your knees to limit your range of motion. And again, you just do what's comfortable for you. And this one, there's no specific breathing pattern. Just breathe comfortable. So. I like to start from the left side, and I'll look at my large toe, and I'll roll my waist, whatever I can do, look at my other large toe, and then I'll look at my heel, and I'll roll back, keeping my hands on my knees, I'll look behind my shoulder, I'll imagine I'm still looking behind me, rolling to the side, look at the other heel, do the toe, and come back to center, and then I do the right side. So I look at toe, to toe, to heel, over my shoulder, behind my back, keep on shifting, look at the other heel, and then come back to center. Okay? So if I do it from the side, I'm rolling, keeping the hands on the knees, looking behind me, 
I imagine I'm looking, still looking behind me through the heel, and then coming straight back up, and then shifting from toe to toe to heel behind my head to the other heel and back. And I can really feel the whole waist and lumbar area stretching and um, rolling. So take your time. Well, these are the kind of movements you really do whatever is comfortable for you when you do them on your own, whatever you need. Okay, so um, no breathing patterns, so we'll just go ahead and start. Uh, relax your shoulders, keep the elbows down, keep all the joints down. Okay, so shifting to one side. Whatever is comfortable for you. Make sure you look behind you, take your time, keep your hands on your knees to limit your range of motion. And come back to center, reset, and then shift to the other side. Breathing normally, breathing naturally. As you do some of these, there's so much movement, make sure you don't fall off the chair. Because you will shift in the chair a little bit. You want to relax. Notice it's a continuous motion. You notice how as you move and twist and turn, right, every joint, every joint has to be allowed to move. And one more time and then we'll come back to center. Okay, and just coming back to center. Okay, so as we're working down. Okay. All right, next, um, I may have gone out of order. So next is just a simple punch. Your hands will draw to the side and just resting right on the side. You want the wrist just resting on the hip gently. A loose fist at night. And you want to punch straight out. You want to throw from your shoulder blade. And you want to give a nice ha sound. Nice ha. Open the mouth. Let the air flow. You want to feel the ab abdominals kind of pop, pop out a little bit. Yeah? And express yourself. Um, especially now you're home, you're home alone. It should be nice and loud with a nice open H-A ha sound. So um, demo first. Uh, Hands on the side, I would breathe in, take a nice deep breath, sink the chi down, and ha, ah, shoulders down, elbows a little bent, right in the center. The arm drops, comes across, keeping the elbow and shoulder down, and the fist swings up. Uh, we like to measure right on the bridge of the nose, and then drop your shoulder blade, and it comes back into place. You take a deep breath, <sighs> right side, drop your shoulder blade, let it swing across close to your body. This is a back fist, move and come back and then down. And then it draws again and does the other side. I'm sorry, this is an optional yeah, to come down or you could just keep it here and keep on going. Uh, if you're doing the standing version, then you would have this. And that would add up and down. So from the side, from here, right, it would come out, it would come across, come right over the other leg. Notice how it comes into the body, right to the center, and down, and then the other side. And the waist can turn a little bit. You don't need to turn a lot, just a little bit, uh, allowing whatever it wants to do, and coming back, and then down and then resetting, okay? All right, so let's take one breath to begin, hands on the side. Okay. 
me. So breathing in, finish your breath, and ha! Huh, come down, breathing in. I'm sorry, and then down yeah, to the side. Breathing in, right side. Ha! Huh, breathing in. And down and to the side. Okay, left side, breathing in, drop your shoulders, <sighs> relax your shoulder blades, relax the top of the shoulders, and right side, And then punching just about the height of my solar plex. One more time, breathing in. <sighs> Crossing right over the center and right side. Side of my arms are gently scraping the side of my body. <sighs> And do one more set. <sighs> and down and relax. So you can see as I start the move, it changes a little bit as I go into automation. <laughs> as I think and try to structure, I get things mixed up. But yeah, the hands will go down um, and just bring it to the side. Uh, when you come up, let the side of the forearms from the elbow to the wrist gently brush against the body. It creates a light little friction. And even as it comes out, it's okay to have it just lightly brushing the body. Um, and one more thing, as you, as you do this move, really imagine your kidneys, kidneys in the back, relaxed, sinking down. Um, you, want them, you want your kidneys to be happy, you want them to be relaxed, settle. Right? If you feel like you're really tight and up, just take that nice deep breath and every time you exhale, release the kidneys. If you need to, just gentle pounding or warm them up. Okay, so let's see. We've done um, we've done the waist, upper body. We're moving, we're moving down. Um, okay, so uh, next movement. Right, continuing with the kidneys, hands on the back, and they'll trace in the back of the leg. Come down to the heels, and the fingertips trace around the edge of the feet. And they come up, I'm just breathing naturally, no specific breathing. Come under the collarbone, under the arms, and back. Uh, relax the shoulders, relax the front, uh, relax all the joints. Just take your time. If you cannot bend all the way down and your fingers can't reach all the way down, you still imagine that your fingertips, so with your mind, you still project your fingertips all the way down and tracing on the inside and then coming right up the center right under the collarbone and back to the kidneys uh, your kidney channels it's going to come up kidney and liver channels are coming up right around the corner uh, on the right side is your kidney the kidney channel breaks off to the kidney uh, I'm sorry to the liver I'm sorry liver <laughs> let's try this again kidney and liver channel come up <laughs> The liver channel breaks off to your liver, right over here, right under your rib cage, and the kidney channel comes up right under the collarbone, right where that little, um, it's not a notch, but you can feel where it kind of turns. That's your kidney channel, and then it continues. Your palm is large, so you're also tracing and covering all your meridians at the same time. So we're starting to warm down. 
and we want to make sure that everything's open and everything's flowing. Okay? Um, don't worry about, uh, there's no breathing in, breathing out pattern, breathe naturally. Okay? All right, so we'll start with our hands on the kidneys. Just take one breath and relax the kidneys. Again, in general, you would do about six of these. Um, I'm always losing count, but really do what's comfortable for you. And just breathe naturally, sinking the breath down. Following with your mind where your palms and your fingertips go. Very important for your kidneys to be relaxed and healthy. If you're excited or fearful, your kidneys tend to tense up and rise a little. So you want to get them down and relaxed. If you have that anger or any kind of pent up, that's your liver. Your liver might get a little hot. So you want to open those channels to get that energy to flow out of your liver and gallbladder. And like I said, we're really covering a lot of channels. And then we'll do one more. So do what's comfortable, do what's safe, take your time. Yeah. And when you're done, just rest your hands on your kidneys. And just take one or two breaths. And then just slowly bring your hands on the side. So the last two moves, as we're ending, we want to shake up the body a little bit. Um, so it's going to involve pulling up, pulling up the feet. You have to relax the upper body. Don't tense the whole body. And the, the arms actually press down. So you want to feel the top of your shoulders sloping and stretching as you're pressing down. So you would be pulling your heels up. The arms and the palms are pressing down while you're breathing in, and then you just let go. And when you let go, shake everything. You want to feel the whole body vibrate. You want to drop the heels. So from, from the side, right, I'm, I'm drawing up. And notice, um, right, I'm relaxed here, and I'm pressing down. Right? So don't make this mistake. Don't lift. Right? You want to stretch down, breathing in, and drop. So you just want that nice little thud. If we were standing, right, the whole body would drop. And because we're sitting, we don't get quite that big effect. So really shake, shake your arms, get that nice vibration. It's, it's your joints, uh, the bones, the muscle tissues, the organs, trying to shake everything up, lymphatic, lymphatic system, just trying to loosen up everything. Okay. And the breathing pattern is breathing in and out. Okay. So take one breath. All right, so about six of these. Breathing in and out. In, 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 out. One more. In and out. And the last thing in our eight brocades is um, we're going to rock our feet. So we're going to go from toe to heel, toe to heel. And uh, if we're standing, we would have our full weight. So we want to bring our feet under us. We want to bring your feet back under you when you do this. And what you're looking for is to get that nice little pump and massage, not just flexing the ankle, flexing the ankle, doing the shin and the calf, but the, you want to feel the bottom of the feet, like pressing and lifting and pressing and lifting so you have a pump and you have a massage. Relaxed upper body. Okay. You probably have to adjust your feet a little bit as you do this. Yeah, just flex nicely up and down. 
So you can relate it with um, the sequence of our of the Tai Chi for Health warm ups. How it starts from the head and neck, working down the shoulders, spine, waist, lower body, and ending with the ankles. Um, the seated eight brocades doesn't really emphasize the legs too much, of course, because we're not standing. So if you feel like you need a little bit more legs warm up, you can do the push-outs. I would add the push-outs in the seated. Right? The stepping forward and the push-outs. Okay, so just relax. Bring the hands up. And down. And just for good measure, let's just run through the whole thing. All right, okay. so bring the hands All up. Right. A nice deep breath. Yeah. And then we'll just run through the eight brocades of silk seated. We'll just do uh, one or two. Yeah, just do it nice and smooth. Take a deep breath of air. And relax. And then begin. So breathing in, number one. And out. And in. And out. Do one more. Draw the chi up. Press it up to heaven. Guide it back down through your body into the earth, displacing the earth chi. And do one more. Relax, take one breath. Number two, coming up. Folding the arms, left hand on top. Exhaling, breathing in. And out. And in. Right hand on top. And in. And out. 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 <clears throat> Number three. In, two palms down, looking to the side, exhale, and back to the center, and in, and out, looking to the right, exhaling, one more time, in, and out, drop your shoulder blades, and in, and out, and relax. Number four, opening up our chest and rib cage. And in. Bring the arms up. Palm over palm. And in. And out. Do one more time. In. And out. And one more. In. And out. And relax. And bow and arrow, left hand inside. Breathing in. Looking to your right. Exhale. And in. And out. And in, right hand inside, right hand draws the bowl, and exhale, and in, and out, and adding the kidneys, left hand in, and out, 
and in and out. Again, adding the kidney stretch, right hand in and out. And in and out and relax. Okay. Flowing into our punches, breathing in, left hand and ha. Huh. Back hand, breathing in and out, center and to the side, then right hand punch, breathing in. Huh. Loose and relaxed. The side of the forearms, gently scraping the side of the body. Do one more time. Breathing in, left hand. <sighs> and in. And out, and relax. Okay, moving down to our waist, hands on, hands resting on the knees, shifting to your left, looking from toe to toe, look at the back of the heel, turn your head, look behind you, rolling, look at the back of the heel, the toe, and come back up and reset and then shift to the other side. Looking at the big toe, and the heel, and behind, the other side, back to the center, and just do one more time left and right. Breathing naturally, taking your time. Be sure to leave your hands on your knees. And reset and relax. Bring the feet back. Remember the legs are extended. Just work, work down. Um, Hands on the kidneys, okay. coming down, tracing the back of the leg, around the outside. If you can't go all the way down, you still imagine that the fingertips are reaching all the way down and tracing the edges of the feet. Taking your time, breathing naturally. Do one more time, a third time. Following with your mind where your hands and your palms are tracing. You want to finish right on the kidneys. Take one or two breaths when you finish. And relax. Okay, drawing the feet in and pressing down. So breathing in and out. <sighs> Letting everything vibrate and shake. Breathing in down, make sure your shoulders are pressing down, stretching down. And one more time, in and out. And then just rock, rock your feet, uh, position them so you can get a nice little flex, heel to toe, feeling the bottom of your feet, letting them press on the floor. Okay. All right, I will just end with loosening up your leg. Okay, so that's the eight brocades of silk. Um, I think we have the, I think I have the standing version already. Okay, all right. In